Hi, today we'll be talking about second piercings. Like, not to get it infected and all that bad stuff that causes it, you know, to be ugly. So first off, I will talk about it. does a second piercing hurt when you get it. No, it doesn't hurt at all. Um, if you get, it's like getting your first piercing. I know many people got it when they were a baby, especially me. So, yeah. It, does, it doesn't hurt at all. It's, it hurts less than getting a shot. hurts less than a pitch. It's just one little click. Like, you blink or you don't blink. Because I blinked. Not because it didn't hurt, because of clicking noise. Your eyes will not water. It's not like nose piercings, belly piercings, or cheek piercings, or any piercings. Like, I know it's a piercing, but it hurts. It's like the most piercing on the body that doesn't hurt. So... I might be talking fast because I don't know how I'm going to fit this in 10 minutes. So, yeah, first thing I'll, the second thing I will talk about is not getting it affected. Not, um, whenever you pierce it, you should, um, you, they should give you a bottle of ear care to prevent you from having infections in your ears. I know I got one, but I lost it. Um, well, I don't really need it anymore because I got my piercing two years ago. So, you should grab a, ears, a cotton swab and, and put some of the ear care on it. Dab it onto your ear. If you just got your piercing, and I know that you have to pick out a pair of earrings that um, you have to wear for several weeks. Just don't take the earring off. Whatever, and if it Every night you should dab your ear with the um, ear care solution. And, um, just dab it over the earring, because you don't want to take it out, because it'll probably get closed back up. Not to get it pierced again. So, yeah. And whenever you're, like, t putting your earrings in, make sure you wash your hands. We ear, ear care solution on it, and then stick the new earring in. Take it out and stick it out. Okay. And now, the third thing I will be talking about is, um not getting your piercing closed. If you don't want your piercing closed, the first earring that they put in your ear as soon as they pierce it, don't take that out. And if you're one of me, I was this person to wear to not wear my earrings for like um three months. It didn't close up well. If that happened to you, you're one of those lucky people. But if you're not then if you leave if you're not then I guarantee you to not leave it out like not wear earrings for like less like more than two weeks so yeah the only time you should have your earrings out is at night so it doesn't sw make your ears swell up and I will be talking and now the next thing I will be talking about is not getting your ears swell up to I mean to swell up so um like me, I stuck my second piercing earring in so tight, like a lot of tight, and it just swelled up and it got red and it started bleeding. Okay, so, sorry for that interruption. Boom, out. Okay, so, you don't want to stick your earring. You your second earring is too too tight because it'll swell up like mine did. Now the last thing I'll be t I'll be talking about is um well not the last thing second from last I guess. Ooh, thanks. Is um like how to wear your earrings and how to take them out and how to put them in. Okay, so, what you want to do whenever you take your earrings out is just grab onto the style part, or like, the style part, like, this part, the front, and then, if you have bags that have them little hoops, like, two hoops in them, grab on that part, I'll show you whenever I'm done. Then pull them both, then you should... You should have two pieces. I'm talking about these kind of bags.
Yeah, so just grab that little ball part right there. And yeah, and don't like do it too fast because it'll hurt. It'll squeeze the fatty load that it hasn't been pierced. I don't know how, but it will because it just did to me when I took it out. Oops. So the last thing I'm going to be talking about is styling your earring. If you don't know how to style your earring, then you should look at what other other people's earrings look like. So, like, say if one if one person's earrings look good, ask them where they got it from. Because if they look good on her, the other person, they will look good on you. And if you want to be like Miss Perfect or Mr. Perfect, then your earrings should match your clothes. So, say you're wearing yellow, you um, and if you don't have a yellow earring, you wear a black earring or a white earring or an orange earring or a red earring or something like that. Fire color earring. So, yeah. Just make your earrings match your clothes to look good with your earrings on. And, um... If you don't know what color of the earrings to get, then get um, earrings based off the color of your um, birthstone. Like, say you were February, which I, which is what I am, amethyst, get amethyst earrings. I mean, whenever they first pierce it, you should get to pick your earring. Mostly, you get to pick your um, birthstone. I did. And they were, like, literally this small. So, those are training earrings, by the way. And so, yeah. And basing of what kind of style you are, like goth, preppy, girly, tomboyish, which is what I am. Like, you should get, if you're girly, you should get pink or red or rose-like. And if you're, like, tomboyish like me, then you should get, like, silver, black, and um, gold here. Yeah. So, yeah, and if you're, like, preppy, that means you're, like, always full of, I don't really know. You should just get, like, other colors, like blue, blue, like, yeah. Or you should get your favorite color in the earrings. My favorite color is tur tur turquoise. So, yeah. And I'll show you some earrings real quickly that... Um, should give you ideas of what kind of earrings to wear. Um, so yeah. Next pair. Amethyst, my birthstone. Now these are rare earrings. These are tiger eyes. I luckily found them somewhere. Love to wear them. Eek. Some of the earrings got in a tangle. They got in a fight. The, um, these earrings are also amethyst. Let me put them the right way. These are amethyst hearts. These are little lollipops. Ooh, cute. I have to zoom in on these, but these are little lollipops. As you can see the stem of the lollipop there. And my last, I mean my second from last earrings, these are big hoops that have diamonds on, that have diamonds on this part, and this part is just sterling silver. My last earrings, are little knots that have rhinestones on them and just a quick tip before i go is just to if you're wearing any other jewelry then your earrings should match that because jewelry is jewelry and it might as well match and if i say the word wrong jewelry sorry yeah i have problems with that word so please don't comment in the comments about that and so you know what to do comment thumbs up and subscribe and if I miss any other questions, then you should write them in the comments or either do a, ne a new video about it or just reply to you in the comments. Thanks for watching and bye. Have a great day.